This video is sponsored by Mathdrop. Right now they're taking requests on their new 35 inch curved gaming monitor that features a 2 millisecond response time, 100 hertz refresh rate and a 3440 by 1440 p VA panel with FreeSync. The monitor is rocking a VA panel which is known for their high contrast ratio, deeper blacks and virtually zero light bleed. It's also great for productivity with sRGB coverage of 100%. I'm surprised they're able to pack in all these awesome features in an ultra wide gaming monitor for only $550. So if you guys want to grab one at this price, make sure to visit the link below to reserve one because if it comes back in the future, it's going to cost a bit more. So okay guys, we have another problem. So the H110i, by the way, I've never put that radiator in this case in an NZXT S340 before. It's a 280mm radiator, it is too long, it does not fit in this case, it doesn't align with the fans or the holes. So we're going back to the original H100 IV2. We're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna have to reapply the thermal paste the third time. So how's your experience so far? Building with, building with Techstars. <laughs> okay, so this one has thermal paste. We're gonna have to wipe this off again. This poor CPU it has to be cleaned. I'm sorry, twice. I'm sorry. The real, the real thing is if the PC will boot. If that doesn't happen, that's a different issue right there. I have confidence that this will I have confidence too, even despite all the things going on, going wrong, we're gonna get a post. It's the last thing I do. If not, I'm gonna throw this red camera out the window. You guys, <laughs> you guys will see it. All right, let's mount this, babe. All right, let's get that first. Bottom, this one's the top. Sneak that in. Some little DMs. <laughs> all right, you're in, go. Okay, stop. Okay, let's do this side. Oh, I think you're in. Keep going. Yeah, that's in. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, got it right here. We're gonna have one more. to drink the isopropyl. I'm losing my mind. He's <laughs> losing mind so much that he needs his alcohol. You know what it is? I haven't had a proper breakfast. I had a freaking Smuckers. I think I can officially say we're halfway done with the PC build. I don't know how long this video is going to be and I apologize if it's like, if it's like a 50 minute video, but I will try and edit it and make it as short as possible. I'll right. make it to 30 minutes. 30 minutes. You said it, not me. <laughs> and with that said, would you do the honors of applying the thermal paste the third time? <laughs> right here. Wait, we just pre-applied thermal paste actually. Oh, there it is. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. That's darn it. I'm going to throw this thing away so we don't like touch it ever again. So I know for NZST it has like. Okay. Make sure you line it with the holes. So everything's good. Yep. What is the next step? Unlock. The next step is to um, screw in the stuff. Um, screw in the, the motherboard. By the way, if you guys are wondering why there's more lighting now, the sun's kind of setting down, so we brought in uh, studio lighting. So that is why the image is different. So now we're gonna hook up his 960 Pro M.2. This is a 512 gigabyte. M.2 SSD inside the motherboard. And I think I'm gonna hook up the rest of the storage yep. next, and then pop on the cooler and move on to the other stuff. So yep. here we go. You can do the honors. Your assumption is correct. There we go. Very delicate operation right here. You gotta lower this down. Make sure you have the angle correct however you want to position it. Technically, if you really want, you can twist it more and make it right side up, but it's up to you. You can keep it that way if you want. That doesn't matter to me. Okay. Um, yeah, solid, perfect. Okay, now actually, let's do this. Let's connect the fans first. So do you know what these connect to? Uh, I believe these connected to the pins right here. So let's, let's take a look at the connectors. There's two of these. Oh, these what are is the fans. Perfect. But which fans are we connecting it? Um, we're connecting this fan and this fan. Are you sure? Because this is this is from this is coming from the cooler. Oh, you're right. This is yeah, this is right here. These the two, two fans, fans on the okay, perfect. So let's grab those. Now here's another one that's coming straight from the pump. All right. Or the bracket. So where does this one connect to? Uh, this is gonna connect to like right here. It's on, the on the motherboard. Okay. Yeah. What is it labeled usually? Uh, I'll give you some options. There is the CPU fan. Chassis fan or the pump? CPU fan. 
CPU fan. But is this a fan? Uh, no, this is not a CPU fan. It's going to be the pump because yeah, pump. this is what's going. This is what's running the radiator. This is going to be the CPU fan because these are the fans that's technically yeah. cooling the CPU. Some motherboards don't have a labeled pump, so we can just technically plug it into the the CPU. Now, what is the next step? All right, the next step is to install the hard drives and the SSDs. Beautiful. That's exactly what I was thinking. So. Grab your SSD. We have the hard drives over here. You know what's funny, guys? Look, the two terabyte hard drive is thicker than the four terabyte hard drive. How is that possible? <laughs> well, this one's the Barracuda Pro, technically. So I'm guessing because of the brand line. That's interesting. Look at that. Look at the thickness of that. Oh my god. Before we slide it in, actually, let's connect the uh, the connectors. Because it's going to be hard to reach... Oh, uh... gosh, darn it. oh, did you put it in the front? Yeah. <laughs> We're nearing the end, guys. I'm hoping you're enjoying the video so far. This is a hell of an experience for me, too. This is the first time. All right, so, so this. this has never been opened, so... Ed, since you're the master of, like, uh, unboxing things, I think you should unbox it. I'm the master of unboxings? All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's do it. <laughs> I said, oh great, now we have to get an air power supply. Yeah. Love that feeling. Get out of here. Alright. The first thing you want to do is pop open that and All you right. want to smell it. That sweet smell of PSU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have also three power supplies, so what cables do we need for that? Uh, I mean, three power supplies. How many power supplies do we need for this PC? <laughs> okay, we have three hard drives. I, I, I can't even, I'm losing my mind. We have two hard drives and one SSD, so what cables do we need for that? Uh, okay, okay, so we need some SATA cables and we need some... Okay, so for the power, how many, what do we need for the power? Oh, to power the two drives and the one SATA. Uh, so we need... One SSD. Oh, we just need like three, so... So do you think this is enough? Um, yeah, this is enough, but um, I don't think this is not going to reach it. Like, it's not going to reach right there. But. So this will reach both the hard drives, but, but the SSD gonna... is not going to reach you, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll need... So we need like... Sadly, we're going to have to use two of these, which is going to be a lot of cables to work with. So which, which, which one's that for? That's meant for this one right here. VGA, what does that mean? Like, what is that for? Uh, that's meant for the, the, like, the motherboard. Try again. What does the V stand for? Video card. Beautiful. Good job. Actually, you can always tell by just plugging it in. If it doesn't fit in, it doesn't belong there. So what is that for? That is meant for like the Molex. Okay, perfect. What is that plug-in? Um, SATA. Um, I know it's somewhere SATA. You can always, here's another tip. You can always read what's located, uh, what's written on the actual connector. What does it say? Perif. Perif. It says Perif on here. And it says perif on the connector. So that's one of the easy ways to figure out where to connect it. So we're having an issue with the red Scarlet W. I keep getting this message pop up on the screen where it says that it cannot mount the media in the SSD and it's annoying the crap out of me. I've literally restarted this thing like three times and I popped this in and out like 20 times already and it's driving me crazy. I've never ran into so many problems on a camera before. So here it is, attempt, wow, of course. Of course, when you start recording it, it works out. Like, what the hell? All right, so now we're gonna be installing, we're gonna hook up the SSD, we're gonna hook up all the cables and we're gonna pop in the power supply. But before that, actually, I have a little surprise for you, which is gonna make this build pop a little bit more. So I was looking upstairs and I got a few extra tubes for the cable sleeving because I feel like there's a little too much black in here. We need some we need some green accents to really pop the build. Yeah, just too much black. Yeah, so I think that's going to look really sick and it's going to make it pop. Unless you want a goth build. A goth build, yeah. <laughs> so let's put, those, let's put those on first before we move on. Uh, that looks that looks clean. Let's get that on the camera right there. Very nice. Super clean, super nice, and everything. So I'm gonna feed the feed the power supply through. Just hold on to the cables. 
All right. I'll pull the cables uh, from inside. My guys, so many okay. cables. Pull them out slowly and slide this in. All right, beautiful. Now comes the fun part, connecting all the cables together. This is gonna be a... And then the final thing is the GPU, but before we put that in, we gotta make sure all the cables are connected to the right spot. What do you think, what cable this is? Uh, this is meant for the HDMI, I believe so. HDMI. Uh, uh, I think this is meant for like the USBs. USB what? Um, hubs, actually. USB number? On um, um, three. Three, um, there it is, that's the magic number. All right, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally at the last step. We are gonna be plugging in the EVGA GTX 1080 into the PC and the big climax of the build Will it turn on? <laughs> That's the question here. All our hard work, literally, we've been building this thing for like three, four hours, I think. So it, it better freaking turn on. Otherwise, I told you guys, I'm throwing the red camera out the window. So do the honor, please, and open up the 1080. Yep. Just don't rip the box. All right. Remove the foam, there it is. Ooh, very nice. The seal is still on this GPU. It's been sitting in his room for a month, guys, waiting to be opened. Wow. Let's, let's do the honors of peeling the plastic. Music to my ears. The best one though is in the back, the back plate. Beautiful. All right. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Yeah. Nice. I heard it snap in, okay. Now let's pop it in, the screws. Yeah. Last screw you guys. There it is. Nice. So Ed has given me this uh, while he was gone upstairs. So thank you so much, Ed, for everything. This really means so much to me. And the final piece is the back plate, which. I think this is too big. I think this is like too big. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that was for the tight necks. Yep. Because Razox is using too. Oh well. That's okay. Doesn't really matter. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really. So, moment of truth, guys, everything's finally hooked up. Slytherin, which is the name of the PC he's calling it, is looking beautiful than ever. The only thing left to do is turn it on and see if it works. So, we were praying to the PC gods after all the trouble we went through, applying thermal paste three damn times, swapping the cooler three damn times. I think it's time to pop it in. Do the honors. Yep. Countdown. One, two, three. Count up. It, it works. Oh my God, just look at it. Does it post? Take a look at the monitor. Pray. One. Oh, yes. we got motherboard, baby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, it's dying. No, I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> a normal screen. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, dude. Very, congratulations, Here's dude. Let's just shot again. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, dude. <laughs> Beautiful. Very quiet. Come closer, you, you can hear this. We're gonna change those colors to green, obviously, right? Yeah. We're gonna change the Corsair logo. We're gonna get those static green and it's gonna look like a beast PC. Wait, um, so this is like RGB right here? Yeah, that's RGB. I didn't know that. I thought I had to deal with that forever. No, no, the FTW, I think, don't quote me. You can change the colors. I did a video on it. <laughs> All right, on the stick, we have Windows 10. We're gonna be hooking this up because it doesn't have a CD drive. We're gonna install Windows. Do we have the Windows CD key? Uh, yes, we do. Oh, it even comes 
with the USB stick on here, so we don't even need this. This is awesome. So yeah, it's gonna load up, guys. Uh, we're gonna fast forward through the setup process. We're gonna get to Windows, desktop, and then from there, we're gonna install drivers and all that good stuff. But I'm not gonna show you guys all that stuff anyways. Fast forwarding to the end, I'll see you guys soon. So I found an RGB strip upstairs and I noticed that it has an RGB header on the motherboard. So I wanna plug this in and see if it actually works because that'll be the icing on the cake. So I'm gonna plug this thing. Oh, and this thing is also magnetic, so it's perfect. Doesn't have any adhesive, it doesn't have any, you won't have any residue when you peel it off, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna plug this in. All right, I'm gonna boot this up. Oh! Ooh. We got it, baby. I'm gonna pop this in the top. That is gorgeous right there. That is beautiful. We're gonna work on the cable, of course, but that looks really nice. So I think that pretty much wraps up the build, guys. I'm gonna wrap up the video with some nice montage shots, close-up shots, cinematic shots of the build. Uh, huge thanks to one of my good friends for coming down here. I still, I, again, I'm sorry for making you wait a month. Hopefully this experience is worth it. How would you rate this whole experience of building a PC out of 10, would you say? A 10 out of 10. I think it's worth it for, for the wait considering how much he has done for me and it wasn't that much to be honest thank you. I, I just can't take him enough for anything for thank you and again appreciate it enjoy your new pc it's beast i know you're gonna love gaming on it you're gonna destroy some noobs um and yeah thank you guys for coming out and by the way he's gonna enjoy his new monitor too 4k this is a freaking view sonic 28 inch i don't know your password but <laughs> there's your monitor right there pretty awesome black and green setup oh, hold on. Oh. We get to sign it. Oh yeah, so you wanted me to sign the case? Uh, yep. Where, <laughs> where did you want me to sign? This is a green, like, this is a green Sharpie? Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. All right. Like, like somewhere right. Oh, down here. Oh, I'm gonna be in the front. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, let me see, let me see. So there's that, and then there's TS here. There you go, man. There you enjoy. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. This and means so much to me. This was fun. I had a lot of fun, guys. Maybe I'll do another episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys want to see another episode, maybe with a different subscriber, different color scheme, that would be pretty sick. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for coming by, man. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. All yeah. yours, man. Take it around the block. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ruin it. Get in the driver's seat. Driver's seat, come here. Right. Watch the cable. Your cables over here. I don't want to cut it. Badass, man. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> You could tap on the gas pedal a little bit. Yeah, yeah, more. Like tap it and let go, tap it and let go. There you go. There you go, nice. <laughs> Badass, man. Right, straight into the, straight into the wall. Sick. Just back it up about 100 feet and then go forward about 100 feet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pretty good, dude. All right. Nice. Let's go. It's very low, huh? Yeah. It's like it's a nice workout. I'm, I'm very, I'm very tall. For, I'm a tall person, and I, and I can't just like put my leg. I put my. <laughs> yeah, it's it's you, you gotta get used to it.